Michael Jackson's mother, Catherine Jackson, has officially lost her bid to stop the $600 million sale of his music. RadarOnline.com can reveal Catherine has been at odds with John Bronca and John McClain, the two men who were appointed executors after Michael's 2009 death, over the plans to sell a portion of the King of Pops tracks to Sony Music Group. Following the estate's announcement of their plans, Catherine filed several objections claiming the deal violated Michael's wishes. Now, a Los Angeles appeals court has said the sale can go on as planned because Catherine's objections lack merit. The ruling said, the will gave the executors broad powers of sale, with no exception for the specific assets at issue in this case. As such, the probate court did not err in concluding that it was Michael's intent to allow the executors to sell any estate assets, including those at issue in the proposed transaction. All of the estate's assets will be distributed to the trust. The Thriller singer's money is handled by the Michael Jackson Family Trust and is believed to benefit his three children Prince, 27, Paris, 26, and 22-year-old Biggie, also known as Blanket, along with a handful of charities. Michael, who died in 2009 at age 50, created a sub-trust for his mother, 94, that allows his estate to pay for her care, support, maintenance, comfort and well-being. As RadarOnline.com reported, Catherine's bid to stop the sale of part of his music catalog found her at odds with the executors over her legal bills. In 2022, Bronca and McLean brokered the deal to sell a portion of Jackson's catalog for $600 million to Sony Music. Catherine immediately objected to the proposed sale and was even backed by Paris and Blanket in court. While fighting the sale, Catherine racked up $500,000 in legal bills, a cost she felt should be reimbursed by the estate. The executors asked the request be denied. Then, in a sudden twist, Blanket backed the executors despite having previously supported his grandma's fight over the catalog. Michael's youngest son thought Catherine should be reimbursed for legal bills she had before the appeal, but not for those she accrued during her fight against the sale. The executors scoffed at her request for the money, claiming they spent $55 million on her care since 2009. They said, since Michael's death, the executors have provided for virtually all of Mrs. Jackson's needs and living expenses, caretakers, gardener, assistant, chef, food, utilities, housing, insurance, security, medical, personal care, travel, entertainment, and a luxury SUV for her use. Virtually no request of Mrs. Jackson for her care or maintenance has been declined by the executors. The executors said while Catherine was entitled to all of the money, she was not entitled to the $500,000 in legal fees. Have a tip? Send it to us. Email RadarOnline.com at tips at RadarOnline.com